Taliban taxi had got water in its redneck gas can from last year so that seized up the fuel pump but since that time someone had tried to start it so that put water in the carburetor which sat there all winter and corroded up the inside of the carburetor so I had to take the carburetor all apart blow out the fuel system get some steel wool in there and, sit and clean out the carburetor replace the fuel pump but everything's good now she runs sweet for so we can go playing in the forest on our hide and seek only had to replace the battery and one tire on this car Talon is still fine. Now for the bad news. That Kyle idiot wanted me to go race him on the track, so I sent him out to get my fastest car, my 3.8 Lumina, and I told him to put air in the tires, put a battery in it, check everything, so he did for me. Got it all ready, I went racing, and every time I went around the corner, the engine started knocking. But he never checked the oil. There was almost no oil on the dipstick, so every time you went around the corner, the, since the oil pan has no windage in it to, to stop the oil from sloshing, the oil went to one side and it was sucking air and had no oil pressure. So it's still barely running, but it crank knocks like a son of a bitch, so I'm going to have to pull the oil pan off and see if I can lock tight some new rod bearings in like I did with the floppy cock van and hopefully bring this thing back to life. So that's a Florida car with no rust and it was the fastest car on the farm, so I loved it. And I hate Kyle now. The 2000 Corolla from Ottawa had no problems this year, so it's working good. Just had to fix a leaky tire on the Half Master. She's running great. And since you can depend on your Toyotas, this one worked flawlessly last year and even left the battery in it and it still fired up all by itself in the spring. Perfect. So that seven days of sunshine, I spent outside working in the sunshine getting all my cars going. Sure, there's more cars here, but they're probably all in working condition, but they're not my cars because my friends and other tubers come up here and drive them too or have their own little stash of cars here for racing. I still got my 90 Toyota GTS, but still need a transmission for it, and I'm not going to pay $250 for a transmission for a car I bought for $90 four years ago. The bees are back. And last Saturday I already got stung. Just opened up the tailgate on my van, put my hand there and was talking to somebody, and one crawled out and got me. Took a few days for the swelling to go down. Fucking bees! Well, the focus, I had to reconnect the fuel pump inside the gas tank because it came disconnected where the hose fits on. And then, doing that, the gas tank straps broke into four pieces. They were so rotten, so I made up a set of gas tank straps for it. But other than that, she runs and drives like new. Cressida is looking and working good. Rear wheel drive cars sure are fun on that track. And the Aries turbo wagon fired up like brand new. Works perfect. And my latest addition, amazingly enough, a rust free loaded Honda with nothing wrong with it. Can't believe it. Drives like brand new. Everything works but the air. It's got no gas in it. Looks fantastic. Never smoked in. Driven by a little Chinese woman. Just can't believe it. Only 200 bucks. Might be too good to take in mud and get dirty. Oh well. And it's even clean like brand new inside. Not even an ash was in the ashtray. Comes with a Kenwood CD player that works. Huh. Probably the nicest car I've ever bought for so little. Well, since it's been raining every day for the last five days, <laughs> can you guess? I've been busy again I'm getting my lawn tractors going. Haven't got that one going yet. Got some of them in the building. There's one motor I was taking parts off. It's got a hole blown in the side of it. Haven't got that one going, but I did get this little bastard going. It's got an 8 horsepower Briggs on it. Actually works perfect. And they even had the blade on upside down. You can see all the grass that just flew off it when I took it for a test drive. It had water in the carburetor which destroyed the carburetor. The water filled up the carburetor, stuck the intake valve, rusted the cylinder a little bit, so some sanding, some oil, some work in the valve change and modify the carburetor system for that 12 horsepower engine I took it off of. She's working like new. This has got the horizontally opposed 
boxer engine Briggs, which is supposed to be a good engine, but haven't got to it yet. It's got another Briggs on it, haven't got to it yet. And my 13 horsepower Honda clone. John Deere, which I've already cut grass with three times this year, is working awesome. Fired up, sitting all winter long. Didn't even drain the bowl of gas in the carb. And it's fired up in one pull. The Mercedes, I kept the battery charged on all winter, so just a few pumps of gas, and she fired right up. All my bikes fired right up. Oh, I didn't get to the go-kart yet. And as usual, Rick's bike is dead. He never fixes anything. He's been sitting here for a couple weeks, and that's been sitting here for a couple years, and all it needs is a clutch. It still dries, but it slips. And my Suzuki 400 always fires up, and I drove it off, on, off and on in the wintertime on the snowmobile tracks in the snow. Got some new tires so I can get through the snow real good. And last but not least, with all this rain, catnip plantation is doing real good. So I have another good harvest for this year. And I still got some left from last year. And if you've noticed in anybody's videos that I look older, it's because my wrinkles are standing out more because I lost 12 pounds. With all the beer and good times last year, and food and friends, I got up to one of the highest weights I've ever been, 189 pounds for six foot tall and just about 50 years old. So I've been so busy this spring getting everything ready for summer, Worked hard, didn't eat very much, and drank a few less beers. So I lost 12 pounds, and now I'm down to 177. It's pretty good. I'll be 50 in a few months, and that's what I weighed 30 years ago. <laughs> How many people can say that? So that's all for now, guys. See you soon.